Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about bouncing the bow to make your fourth finger stronger. So many people find that their fourth finger um, isn't used to the weight of the bow and it either goes very straight or they feel that the knuckle sticks up and uh, it's rather difficult. So there's a great exercise to do that makes your fourth finger stronger and more used to the weight of the bow and also more flexible and it's very simple it's just to bounce the bow have a look at your fourth finger and if it's very straight and you're bouncing the bow just quietly like that concentrate on making the fourth finger rounded okay just make it rounded So really all you're doing with your with your hand is simply leaving it in the same place and using your fourth finger uh, to bounce it up and down. Now you can see that all the fingers actually move. The fourth finger, the first finger, you can see that there's a, an action like that. So the weight is going uh, from your fourth finger to the string. It teaches your fourth finger exactly what to do and the action of the other fingers becomes very natural because if you want to go faster you'll find that the thumb and the first finger start to come into play to control the speed. And you'll find that the fourth finger is used as a pivot and it's much less work the faster it gets. Now remember to always keep your thumb in a bent position. Now this very simple exercise will teach your hand uh, <clears throat> how to be flexible, what the, the right weight is as you go up and down. There's more weight sometimes on the fourth finger and sometimes there's more weight on the first finger. So the first finger should always be on top of the bow and if you find it slipping a lot then just put it very slightly behind like that and keep it bent. And you can try it in different parts of the bow Now as you go up the bow you'll find it less bouncy and that's a great exploration. Just to explore your bow and see how it's made, um, the thicker uh, and it, it gets towards the heel, the less bouncy it actually is. And this part here is very bouncy and it's a very good idea to explore that. It's about your fourth finger and getting it to move in this position up and down, up and down, and all your fingers are having to move because of this. And it's so helpful, it almost does it on its own. A little extra onto this exercise is to play on all the strings and that gets the arm involved. So it's a very simple little exercise, but it teaches your hand an incredible amount, both about um, how to move the hand and get it more flexible, how to uh, hold the weight of the bow on the, with the pinky, um, how that interacts with gravity, and uh, also about the bow itself, how bouncy it is, how it's made. So I hope that's helpful, and uh, I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.